Hello and welcome to another episode of the Organic Adventure Show. I am your host, Cy Rodriguez, and today I wanted to talk with you about maintaining or achieving your ideal body weight. And there are a few pointers that I want to give you in helping you to achieve that without falling into the gimmicks or the latest trend of what to do that is in the mainstream media or the, the newest idea or scientific study that shows you a certain way that you can lose weight or, or like some kind of basically a gimmick. So, number one, you have to find a way of eating that allows for you to eat as much as you feel like eating and enough to give you all the calories that you need that gives you all the nutrition that you need without having to think about it too much how many calories you're eating and without having to worry about it if you're overeating or not. One that gives you freedom to basically just eat when you're hungry and then not worry about it. And for some people you may have to moderate that a little bit, just get used to eating what would be considered a portion size or eating until you're not completely full um, just to help yourself if you are way overdoing it. But the bottom line is, is there is a way that you can eat and you can eat a lot and not have to worry about gaining a lot of weight. And that is using a plant-based whole foods diet where you eat plenty of vegetables and fruits, nuts, seeds, grains, beans, and a couple of oils, and that's it as far as oils go. But you don't really have to worry about the quantities that you eat. You just eat when you're hungry. So that is the number one thing that you can do to help you to achieve your ideal body weight. Of course, one of the next most important things is that you get exercise. Now when I talk about getting exercise, there are exercises you can do to achieve specific results. But mainly what I mean by exercise is just having some kind of an active lifestyle. If you're at a computer all day, then that means getting out and doing something where you're actually being physical to a degree. You don't have to make your heart pound at 200 beats per minute to achieve what I'm talking about as far as exercise go, but basically getting out and doing something that's fun for you that gets you moving for a little while, maybe for at least a half an hour a day. And of course you can do regular exercise programs. I do about two hours per week of an actual exercise program that I created and that's all I do to maintain and keep myself fit and strong. So exercise is important, but you don't have to overdo the exercise or spend your whole life exercising. The next most important thing is that you get a good rest. And anywhere between seven to nine hours of sleep is pretty good for most people, but you might have to work on that a little bit to get yourself on a schedule where you're actually getting enough sleep. Your body will recover better and it will burn more fat you will have less stress and less of the hormone cortisol that is created as a result of undersleeping and of too much stress. And when you that cortisol is high, your body holds on to more fat. When your cortisol levels are normal, then your body is able to burn more fat. So that is something that is important to keep in mind that you want to keep your stress levels low and you want to be able to get a good night's rest. So I want to leave you with one last thing on maintaining your ideal body weight. For some people you're going to be overweight, for some people you're going to be underweight and you're going to want to gain weight. And I want to say that intentionally in the last two years I've put on 25 pounds or so, maybe a little bit more than that. And this is what I wanted to do because for many years I was eating in a way where I was eating a pretty healthful diet, but I just couldn't put on that extra weight. And all I've done to put on that extra weight is do intensity exercises mostly without 
weights, but with a few weight exercises. And um, I've eaten in such a way that I am promoting my body to maintain healthy muscle mass. And that is something that is very easy to do if you just learn how to eat in a way that is healthful. And there are a number of ways out there that are being taught that will show you pretty good ways of doing that. And I just want to mention that I have a book and the book is called Health Beyond Diet Dogmas. And there is another book called Body Mastery Without a Gym. And those books I've called the Sexy Fit Program. So you can purchase them separately. One is basically about eating and knowing about nutrition and supplements and getting through the dogmas to be able to find real ways of maintaining your health and the actual ways that I do it. And then the Body Mastery Without a Gym is an actual workout program that shows you exactly what you can do, which is what I do to get into excellent shape if that's what you want to do. So that's called the Sexy Fit Program. There's going to be a link for it below this video so that you can go to that site and check out the books if you want to. And I have them underpriced for sure. They're ev they'll eventually have to go up in price if they go any direction in price. But one way or another, those books are going to give you a very good base for understanding health and for being able to take your health to whatever level it is that you want to. So. I just want to leave you with that and say thank you so much for watching. May every day be an adventure in 